happens to your car when you file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy? Well, hopefully you've met with your attorney beforehand, and what happens to your car is exactly what you wanted to happen to it. Here in Utah, you can protect $3,000 of equity in your vehicle. The exemption amount varies by state, but let's just go with three grand. So $3,000 of your car is safe. If you're driving a 1992 Buick Century that you got from your grandma, the car is safe. It is not worth more than three grand. If you're driving a brand new Escalade, you're going to lose the car. The trustee will sell it. He will then use that money to pay off your creditors and give you $3,000 for your troubles. Now on the other hand, let's say you have a financed vehicle. If there's no equity in the financed vehicle, here's how it works. You list the vehicle in the bankruptcy, and then you check a box whether you want to surrender the vehicle or reaffirm. If you reaffirm the vehicle, you're going to keep the same payment, same balance, same interest rate, same everything. Basically, you pull the vehicle out of bankruptcy and just keep making payments on it. So long as there's no exposed equity, this is not a big deal. If there's more than $3,000 of equity, you have a problem, and you'll need to buy back the remaining equity from the trustee. So, let's say your car is worth ten grand and you owe 7000 on it. There's $3,000 of equity, you're not going to lose it. Let's say your car is worth ten grand and you owe $6,000 on it. There's $4,000 of equity. You can only protect $3,000, so $1,000 is exposed. You would have to make a deal with the bankruptcy trustee to pay him $1,000 to protect the remaining equity in your vehicle. So, when you file a Chapter 7 case, if the car here in Utah is worth less than three grand, you're going to keep it, not a problem. If the car is worth more than three grand, the trustee will want to sell it to pay your creditors. If it has a loan against it, you either reaffirm the loan, keep making payments on it, or you surrender the car and give it back to the creditor. Thanks.